Hello everybody, long time no see because I am a piece of shit. Anyway, I'm going to carry on with the Flight Simulator College Football Stadiums slash Towns. I did Big Ten, uh, if you haven't seen that I'll just go to my channel. I was going to say I'd put a link somewhere but I don't feel like it. Um, and today we're going to do the SEC in alphabetical order so that means well it's actually not alphabetical order because they did Auburn first I forgot Alabama and Arkansas we'll do it in an order that I do it how about that and we're starting with Auburn back in the icon a5 and I'm starting right over Auburn so this should just jump right into it I haven't really done any research in terms of big maps on which of these are going to be more detailed than others all these are just going to be my um first reaction i guess we'll see what we get in the sec i have not been to any sec stadium and now that i think about it i don't think i've been in any sec city even so this will be interesting i've never seen any of these cities in reality or in in reality or in flight sim as of yet all right don't care about all that EFR map you can go away too all right so it looks like we're going right in it and I think this is actually the stadium right here looks pretty stadium ish let's go ahead and dive on down into Auburn Alabama Yeah, so I, I really don't have much to add when it comes to these cities. Like I said, I've never been to any of them, so I don't know really anything about them. There is Auburn Stadium. To be honest with you, I don't even know what it's called. It's definitely not a 3D city, but it still does a pretty good job. Baseball field. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Basketball. I assume there's no hockey in the SEC. But you can just tell with some of the buildings that they're just auto-generated, but it looks pretty good. They actually did a good job on the uh, stadium and everything. Yeah. Interesting. This probably like the main campus? I don't know, it's really close to the sports stuff if it is. Nice. Like that building right there, I assume that's the scoreboard or something, but it's just a building in here. Yeah. I mean, this might do it. These are probably going to be relatively quick compared to my Big Ten ones, because I don't have a lot of lot to add uh, most of the Big Ten ones I've either been in that city at least or the stadium even um, so this is just kind of me looking around these cities for the first time in any sort of real capacity I'll try and get in front of this actually real quick game doesn't look that good when you're this down this low down but Do what we can. Get the front facade. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and stay in Alabama and go to Tuscaloosa for Alabama. We're in Tuscaloosa. Um, I have to bring up the maps for the cities that don't have a direct flyover just to know which direction to go from the airport and I must say Tuscaloosa looks pretty crazy from what I've seen so Tuscaloosa looks very 
very uh, populated. That's something that kind of surprised me. I've never been to Alabama at all. I know Birmingham, Montgomery are big cities, but I figured there wasn't really anything in Tus Tuscaloosa besides the university, so, you know, a college town. But it is quite big. And Brian Denny Stadium's like just right in the middle of it. So I'm going to go ahead and go into third person and try and spot it. It should be about right here, I think, though. Go ahead and look down just in case one of you fine folks happen to live somewhere around here. Maybe you can spot your house. Oh, actually, now that I look at the map, it's on this side of the river. Is that it right there? If it is, it's uh, not looking good. I think we have a pancake stadium or a very weird building generated in place of the stadium. Yeah. Well, there's Brian Denny in uh, Flight Sim, Tuscaloosa. Did not get a lot of love, unfortunately. But as I said a bunch of times in the last one, when you're real high up, which is the purpose of the game, it's, it looks good. It serves its purpose. But that is Brian Denny in Flight Sim. Let's go ahead and kamikaze on down. Yeah, not good. <laughs> so here's uh, the university somewhere around here, I assume. Like I said, it's a very, like, busy area. There's a lot going on. It's hard to tell exactly what's all what. Even if these weren't auto-generated buildings, just looking at uh, maps, it's... Everything's just kind of here. I'm assuming this is the campus, but again, I don't know. There's a lot of stadiums in college football where the stadium is uh, not really anywhere near the campus. Anyway, that's uh, Tuscaloosa and Brian Denny Stadium. Bit of a letdown, but I'm just showing you what's in, what's in the game, and that's what it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and go to Fayetteville, I'm pretty sure, for Arkansas. Welcome to Fayetteville. We're going to Razorback Stadium, and there isn't a big airport that close to Fayetteville, but there is this one, Drake Field, and we should be able to just go straight north basically right along the street that's right next to us where are we I think over here and they'll take us basically right to the stadium according to the map right, let's go ahead and get up in the air if we just follow this road it'll take us all the way to the stadium Do, do, do. Coming into Fayetteville now. Looking pretty nice. Looks like it will be autogen, but that's alright. Not a good start for the SEC. I think they're over three uh, in uh, cities in terms of autogen. At least Auburn had an actual stadium. We'll see what Razorback Stadium looks like. Stadium should be on the right. Somewhere right about here, I think. Let's go ahead and 
bring it down lower. Looks pretty dope. Like we got solar panels on the roofs. Um, I missed it. It's over here. There it is. Followed the wrong road. Looked a lot closer to the airport. So I guess this is just downtown, maybe the campus area. And right there is Razorback Stadium. Not bad. Looks like it's built into the ground, which I always like. Uh, it does look like a flat image, though, for the most part. But sometimes that's better than what we saw <laughs> in uh, for Alabama. Yeah, I think it's flat. Same with the uh, basketball arena or whatever that is right there. So we don't really have to get down. The closer we get, the worse it's going to look. So yeah, there is Fayetteville. It goes back pretty far. Am I stalling? What's going on? I don't know what this warning's about. All right, well, irrelevant. We are going to go ahead now to, let's see. We're going to go to Lexington. We're going to go to University of Kentucky. We are in Lexington, Kentucky. I believe the stadium is directly this way. quite a bit of city over there. I believe that's the stadium right there, isn't it? Definitely not. I apologize. Small. Uh, I've been thinking it's this right here, maybe, but I don't think so. I don't know what's going on, I'm looking at my map. So it sounds like I'm about to stall. Oh, I see it. No thanks to my map. That looks like a high school right there. But I think the stadium is right there. And it looks flat. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. Not looking good for the SEC in terms of <laughs> the cities and their um, accuracy. Look at all those buildings around the baseball st stadium. Practice field. I don't know where 
where the uh, basketball arena is. I mean, it could be any of these, and it's just completely fucked up. But there we go, Kentucky. I wanted to fly in between these buildings. Nose dive. Next stop will be Baton Rouge. We're going to LSU. I will see you there. We are starting right over Baton Rouge, thankfully. Uh, stadium might be right here or behind me. Space. Yep, it's right behind me. Cool. Look at that. So there's downtown Baton Rouge. I guess I'll do a quick flyover up here. Got the river and the bridge. This is this is pretty dope. Louisiana. All right, so let's get down pretty low here. Get frame rate loading in the city. Interesting. That boat is sinking. I don't know what the hell that's. Oh, it's a top. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Looks like it's a kind of a cell tower, like how it's colored, but the shape of it is very weird. Alright, so I assume this is the campus. And then that's like downtown. Uh, my voice cracked. It's a cool building. I assume this is campus right here. Definitely right here. This has to be some sort of... I think all this is the campus. Just looks very college right here. <laughs> and then that must be downtown Baton Rouge, which I'm not going to go over. Because the main point of this video is the stadiums. Hey, look, that's cool. my wing. It's dope. Alright, so let's go to Tiger Stadium. Looks so cool with the river. It looked really cool from like 10,000 feet up too. I'm only at I'm under a thousand. I assume this is the basketball arena. Oh yeah, we're going to do a flyover. Interesting buildings all around it. Obviously a lot of them are autogen, so I'm not sure exactly what they are, but assume they're buildings in real life. Really close to all this stuff though. Look at this. Oh, this looks good. This is a good one. Ooh, looks like it was under uh, renovation at the time that the uh, picture was taken. Very interesting. I was going to say where do you park, but I guess right there is the parking areas. And then all over, of course, which is typical of a college stadium. But they usually at least have some parking, but this looks pretty small in terms of parking. Look at that. Tiger Stadium. Awesome. Alright, so that will do it for Baton Rouge in LSU Tiger Stadium. Next up, Let's go to Sorry, I was trying to figure it out. Let's go to Mississippi State. Welcome to Starkville, Mississippi. Uh, they did not have an airport that close. And they also did not have 
a area to fly directly over, so I found an airport near it, and then I just did a custom waypoint kind of where I thought Starkville was, and yeah, not looking very promising, but I think it's this direction, I think it's right there. So let's just go ahead and fly this way. We might skip ahead. Yeah, it's got to be right up here. Which, according to the maps, the actual camp is like right here. It's right on the edge of the city, right in the direction I'm coming. So that's cool. whole lot of flatness down here in Starkville. I'm not judging. I'm used to that. So coming into Starkville now, this sh might be the stadium right here. Like I said, it's like right on the edge of the city. And judging by the maps, maybe it's this. R no, that's a parking lot. Somewhere right around here. And... This is definitely auto-gen, so that makes it a little harder to spot, because it might be flat, or it might just be buildings instead of an actual stadium. But this right here, dead ahead of us, is uh, Mississippi State's campus. In fact, I think the stadium is going to be this right here, surrounded by these buildings. Oh, no, it's right here. Okay. I don't know what that is. Just buildings, I guess. But right here looks like the main area of the campus. Oh, it's just some sort of department or school of something. And there is the stadium, Mississippi State. It's all flat except for this building that it generated. And a couple buildings around it. So, yeah. Nothing special, to be honest with you. But again, from this high up, not bad. And then especially from way up, look pretty good. Baseball, assuming that's the basketball arena. I don't know what's going on there with what it generated. Generate a random building in the middle of the track. All right, well, that's Starkville. Not sure what else to tell you. Let's go ahead and head to Columbia, Missouri, which I don't know. I haven't double checked, but I think I remember doing some research, research. I think I remember doing some research uh, right after I did the Big Ten video. And I think Columbia, Missouri is a photo, whatever, 3D city, but we'll find out when we get there. We are in Columbia, Missouri. They had a waypoint to spawn directly overhead, so that's nice, and it is indeed a 3D city. So this is the first in the SEC, and it should look pretty damn good compared to everything else we've seen so far, and that should also mean things are pretty easy to spot. Judging by Google Maps, um, or Bing Maps, because this game uses Bing Maps, um, not that it would change the results of what I'm about to say, but it looks like the stadium is on the south side of Columbia, and we are headed, so we, ugh, might want to go this way. Uh, it actually looks like it's going to be right around, oh, there it is, maybe. I don't know. Is that it? Yeah, that has to be it. Let's go ahead and go right over downtown first since we're coming this way anyway. And get a gander at these actual buildings. Non-auto generated. So you can appreciate this area a little more knowing it is mostly accurate. It's very interesting. 
assuming this is the campus area around here. Get, I got a windmill for some reason. Uh, basketball arena, and right here is the um, Tiger Stadium or Memorial Stadium. I'm not sure. This might be the basketball arena, actually. Baseball, practice fields, football building, maybe. Slow this plane down for our. Uh, trip back around here. That's the basketball arena for sure. Although, I wonder what that is. One of you guys can let me know. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. Look at this. This looks so dope compared to the other ones. <laughs> I love that M in the grass. The end zone pattern, the scoreboard. You can actually make everything out. It's an actual stadium. Let's loop back around. Looks like Microsoft Flight Sim still generates way too many trees. I assume you guys aren't living in the middle of forests in Columbia. Missouri, that is. Look at that baseball stadium with the trees in the outfield. That's cool. Behind the wall, obviously. All right. There we have it. That is Missouri and Columbia. Next stop. Let's go ahead and go to going back to Mississippi. Uh, this time, where's Ole Miss? I can't think of where Ole Miss is for some reason. Is it Hattiesburg? Might be. I'm not positive, though. Uh, but regardless, we're going to Ole Miss for our next stop. We are in Oxford, Mississippi. Why am I 8,000 feet in the air? Dear Lord. Anyway, well, I mean, hey, look. This is the highest city you'll see. Right there is the stadium. Like I said, um, when you're this high in the air, it works. But I can I can tell from this high in the air that it is flat slash autogen, but we'll get down. Oxford, I noticed, doesn't really have a lot going on for it outside of the university. And the university is really kind of strangely laid out. Kind of reminds me of Disney World, just how it's like shaped like this. And then everything within it is kind of, it's not like straight or rectangles and right angles. It's just kind of all thrown in there, which I like. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. But we need to nosedive on down here. I don't know why it's starting me at 8,000 feet. I might destroy this plane, actually. Screw it. Alright, so I'm assuming this is the basketball arena. And that might be the football building right there. So they got practice fields right there. Or that's the football building. But that's that has to be basketball. Obviously football, baseball. They got a pretty good sized baseball stadium. our altitude at. We're at 2,500. Let's get on down here. And again, when it's a city like this, the closer you get, the worse it's going to look. But Baseball Stadium actually looks pretty good. It looks like it's just an image, though. Yeah, definitely. I thought these were buildings for a second that it generated. 
and then yeah the football stadium's flat as well besides this right here which might you know doesn't even look to be a part of the stadium in reality yep so there you go nothing really to keep investigating here kind of another uh, disappointment of uh i don't want <laughs> of a city in the game of course that's interesting. I wonder what that is. Anyway, that's going to do it for Ole Miss. Next stop is going to be South Carolina, which is also Columbia, I'm pretty sure. Welcome to Columbia, Missouri. Uh, let's get our bearings here. going to be over this way. Uh, Columbia is another 3D city, so both of the Columbia's the first two in the SEC. This area does not look to be, but it looks like the actual Columbia is right there. And it looks like the stadium is actually going to be down here somewhere south of the downtown area and campus but if you live on the other side of the river from Columbia uh, find your house do 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 Is that it? No. I don't know what's going on right there. I hope that's not it. What in the world? Uh, we'll see if that improves. I'm pretty sure this was a 3D city. Maybe it's... Yeah, it is. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what's going on when we get over here. I just don't think it was loaded yet. Hopefully. Okay, there's the football stadium. A lot of parking area right there. Over speed. Over speed. All right. Here we go. Now it's looking like an actual building. Oh my goodness. Frame rate. And it's tall. That's interesting. That parking, I don't even know if that's a parking lot. It looks so weird. I mean, it must be. Do you park in the grass then? Look at all this parking too. It's crazy. There's a lot of parking here. I guess that's one of the benefits of not building it next to the campus. Nice. All right. I like it. Uh, we'll fly up and just check out the campus real quick as well. Which I believe somewhere up here. 
baseball. See, it says, it says Columbia is a 3D city. There's baseball. One of those is softball. That's softball. It says it's a 3D city, but I don't know. These buildings look generated. The stadium looked pretty good, though. But maybe only this area, which I believe is the campus now, is the 3D city area. It's a cool fountain. Yeah, I think just this area. Ooh, is that the... I don't want to say Capitol building. I don't know if... It's, I don't think Columbia is the capital of South Carolina, but... It's a cool video, or cool building nonetheless. Must have something to do with the school. Now I'm just trying to think of the capital of South Carolina, and I don't know what it is. All right. Ooh. What is that? A gas station or a restaurant? Just trying to see what... <laughs> So it was like a fucking Shoney's or something. I don't know if that's what Shoney's look like. They're not up here. Right, so that is Columbia, South Carolina. And the University of South Carolina. Gamecocks. I, and I realized uh, right before I did this that I was not... Uh, I was not seeing Florida and Georgia. So, that's next. We're going to go to Gainesville for University of Florida. So, see you there. All right. We are in Gainesville. Look at that. I think we're going right towards the stadium. Let's go ahead and dip down. Ben Hill Griffin Stadium. Let's turn down the power in here. Oops, not that. And I'm assuming the basketball arena, baseball. Like you got like tennis, soccer, not a lot of, I feel like not a lot of schools have a separate soccer stadium. I feel like they always just use the football stadium. here very nice it's quite a lot of press boxes and suites it's all stacked on one side there Flight Sim have palm trees or what? 
Certainly there's palm trees in Gainesville, right? Just gonna do a low fly over here. And once again, way too many trees. There you have it. There is Gainesville. Next, we are going to go to Athens for University of Georgia. All right, we are in Athens, Georgia. I got spawned really high in the air again, but that's all right, because we need to find this place. I believe it's over to here. Athens is uh, Autogen. So, probably won't spend too much time here. I think right there is Sanford Stadium. Let's dive right at it. I hope that the plane doesn't break apart. We're descending. Oh god, alright. So it's looking like it's flat. Looks really crazy with that bridge behind it, or the overpass, the road, you know. Actually looks really cool. I don't know how accurate it is real life since everything's auto-generated. But I like that road right there. Oh look, the bowl looks deformed. It has it like going up a hill. There's the practice fields. Maybe the basketball arena if they flattened it. Baseball field. Sadly, not a lot to see here. We'll just go over or pass this one more time. Looks really interesting with all these like hills and stuff. I wish it was um, more accurate. But it looks like a really cool area. Regardless. Alright, so that's Athens. Next on the list is... I'm actually not sure and I don't have my stuff up. Uh, let me think. We did the Mississippis. Uh, probably Tennessee, I think. So, I will see you in Knoxville. All right, this one uh, put us right over it. Fortunately, believe it or not, Knoxville is auto-generated. So, yeah, this is what you get. You got the baseball field right here. We're directly over top of it, like, right away. Which is nice. I have my gear down. It has me coming in for the landing. Uh, I think this is the basketball arena? I don't know. <laughs> And then this is Neyland Stadium, which has a building just generated around it. Yeah. It's unfortunate. 
So, I mean, there's Knoxville. There's really not a lot to see when it's like this, so. I really have no interest in going down and seeing that building any further. But, you know, like I've said, from high up, it's all right, I guess. Although not really, because I think it doesn't... Isn't there orange seats? I don't know. No, maybe there isn't. But still. Whatever. We're just going to go to the next, which is going to be Texas A&M. College Station, I believe. See you then. All right, this is College Station, Texas. Right off this runway here. And now that I look at the map, I might be at the wrong airport. It might be way over there. Which if that's the case, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and skip ahead to when I finally get there. Oh. I need to request to land at this airport so I know where I'm at. Cause this airport is right next to the campus. Okay, this way then. College Station. This is also a generated city. But it looks pretty good. It's hard to tell where Kyle Field is. It might be these buildings. If so, it looks like they generated a building in place of the stands. Which is typical. Actually, it looks like it's right here. Yeah. It's flat. So is this the basketball arena? A lot of parking although a lot of that parking probably has to do with football because I don't see anything around here in terms of parking yeah so it's flat but there's Kyle Field with a <laughs> random house built on the field and all this football building looks like so the practice fields Baseball stadium with buildings generated for the sands. Pretty typical flight sim stuff. But it works. Alright. Well, next stop is going to be... Who is it going to be? Is Vanderbilt all that left? I don't know. I think there's at least two more. We'll see who it is when we get there. All right, lastly is Vanderbilt in Nashville, which is a good place to end it. It's a 3D city. It's downtown. Uh, I think this is going to be pretty dope. So we just fly straight into Nashville. Uh, like I said, it is 3D, but I wonder how far that extends because Vanderbilt is kind of on the outskirts of downtown. But all this looks pretty legit, so we should be all right. Let's go ahead and get low. Might as well fly over the Titan Stadium. LP Field. That's what I remember it as. I've actually been to a game here. So I guess I have been to one SEC city. I've been to Nashville. But never saw Vanderbilt. I was like eight years old. I was a Titans fan for some reason, despite born and raised in Michigan. That was just like when I only liked football through Madden, though. So it didn't really count. But my dad did take me to a tit uh, Titans game. It was actually week 17 in like 2003. They already clinched the playoffs, so unfortunately, like uh, 
Eddie George and Steve McNair didn't play. Or Steve McNair did, but Eddie George didn't. They were playing the Buccaneers, Warren Sapp. <laughs> like, look how good that looks. It, oh my god, that looks so good. Uh, my seats were like right here. I remember watching uh, Warren Sapp and uh, Simeon Rice warming up in the end zone. Uh, and I don't really remember anything about the game, to be honest with you. Right, well, there's LP Field. It still says LP Field at the time that the picture was taken. I know it's not LP Field now. And here's downtown Nashville. I'm assuming that's where the Predators play. Or no, that might be. I don't know what that arena is then. I don't have a basketball team. These 3D cities are so damn awesome. They look so good. Alright, well now I gotta try and find Vanderbilt. It's about a little south... A little southwest. I think we're going right over it. In fact, that's probably it right there, isn't it? Vanderbilt Stadium. Yeah. So right there's a baseball field. Whee. Commodores. That's awesome. That looks really good. It's a really cool setting. I, like I said, I've never been to any of these, like, areas so I wouldn't have thought it's just like that little road right there in the middle of it looks really cool you got the backdrop of downtown this is a good note to end on unfortunately a lot of the SEC cities were just auto gen this is a really good one. I'm assuming this is the basketball arena. That's really funky shape. There's like nowhere to park. Jesus. All right. Well, that will do it. That's Vanderbilt. That's the SEC. Uh, maybe I'll see you in another two months when I decide to do another conference. Um... And it will probably be, I'll probably be lazy and just do the Big 12 since it only has 10 teams. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Thank you guys for watching, and um, see ya.